Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 16th of September. I'm James Spann. Sally made landfall this morning at 445. The system will weaken, of course, today inland and hooking up through South Alabama today. So still much to discuss. Let's dive right in. And obviously, Sally is the dominating feature. That's the upper air look across the country this morning. The westerlies to the north are going to be dipping south. And again, we're going to be in great shape by the time the weekend gets here in terms of cooler temperatures. That was the radar composite this morning at 444. At that point, Orange Beach and Gulf Shores was in the eye. In fact, let's roll the uh, mobile radar a loop, and uh, you can see how the system is on shore early this morning. Again, this loop was taken about uh, 5 o'clock this morning, and I know that it's been an awfully rough night. It's been a rough, really, 36 to 48 hours for the Gulf Coast, but uh, the weather down there will gradually improve today as the system lifts northward. They'll be assessing damage. This came in as a Category 2 with winds of 105 miles an hour, and the flooding down there, I'm sure, is pretty severe. We've had uh, rain amounts averaging 15 to 20 inches with this thing because it's just not been moving quickly. Now, there's a flash flood watch today from roughly Interstate 59 South. Not so sure those northern counties get that much in the watch. Uh, the heaviest rain probably over the southern half of the state today. And in terms of the tornado threat, the highest threat is going to be the southeastern corner of the state, Dothan, Abbeville, Geneva, Ozark. Uh, the area is in yellow. That's a level 2 out of 5. A marginal risk extends as far north as Monroeville, Montgomery, and Opelika. Uh, so if you're in the southeastern part of the state today, just be aware there could be an isolated brief tornado. And then tomorrow, there's a marginal risk east of the state from uh, eastern Georgia over to the coast of North Carolina. And on day three, which is Friday, the country nice and quiet. So this is the latest QPF from WPC, uh, five-day rain totals. And you can see the really big numbers are going to be over southeast Alabama. Rain amounts there between five and eight inches. Uh, for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, the numbers, of course, have come down. Uh, Sally has continued to you know, be a little to the east and south of the original projections. Rain amounts around an inch. Tuscaloosa may be getting under one half inch, and there's going to be a very sharp cutoff on that northern edge. North of the cutoff line, basically nothing. And that uh, cutoff line, I think, is going to be pretty close to Interstate 59 today. So we'll be watching the radar trends. This is the uh, satellite animation of Sally. And again, it, it intensified again up to Category 2 strength at the last minute. Uh, and winds were 105 miles per hour at the time of landfall. Landfall this morning at 445 at Gulf Shores. And uh, this is the track from the Hurricane Center. The remnant circulation comes through southeast Alabama, then central Georgia, then South Carolina. Still moving slowly, moving at 3 miles an hour early this morning, but it will pick up forward speed as it gets involved in the uh, mid-latitude westerlies. And again, this is a look at the rain. You can see heavier rain will be extended over into parts of Georgia and the Carolinas as the system shifts eastward. So what else is out there? Well, the good news, none of these systems will likely affect the United States. That's great. Um, we've got Paulette that's on the way out into the North Atlantic. Uh, Vicky is a little weak tropical storm that won't last long. We've got Teddy, a hurricane. That's going to be a major Category 4. And then a new wave out there in the eastern Atlantic, which is Invest 98L. This is the uh, look for Hurricane Teddy. And again, this will be a major hurricane later today. And again, if you're in Bermuda, you got to watch this. Now, the good news, it should be weakening up there at that latitude. But it could be close to Bermuda Monday of next week. And then it hooks out to sea. No threat to the United States. Uh, Invest 98L, that wave in the eastern Atlantic, We'll be watching that. Uh, it most likely becomes Wilfred, but the good news, it's going to start to gain latitude, and most likely this one recurves. So really, after Sally, nothing threatening the United States for the next week or so, and that's great news in terms of tropical systems. So let's go to the GFS. This is the 06E run, 4 o'clock today, westerlies to the north, Sally over Alabama. At the surface, the, Sally, the circulation of Sally at 4 o'clock today should be somewhere really uh, around Bruton, way down in South Alabama. The uh, guidance continues to shift to the south, and obviously for South Alabama today, it's going to be a windy day. They'll see winds of 20 to 30, maybe gusting to 40. 
Uh, heaviest rain for South Alabama. For the northern part of the state, the wind's not that bad. It'll certainly be breezy, 15 to 25, maybe gusting to 30. And this is uh, just after midnight tonight. The Circulation Center is just south of Montgomery, up to 1,001 millibars. Heavy rain for East Alabama at that point. And then tomorrow, the circulation is uh, over the Carolinas, and the rain should be ending from west to east. Uh, the sky probably mostly cloudy. Of course, we'll be in the 70s. This is Friday. Sky becoming partly sunny. High should be in the low 80s, and the day should be dry for most of the state. And Saturday, now the GFS on this run, trying to put a slug of moisture through South Alabama. This is a new idea that we don't see in other models and we've not seen in previous runs. So we're still going to leave the day dry for most of the state and really comfortable. High should be in the upper 70s. We're expecting a good supply of sunshine. And then Sunday, again, the GFS here tries to depict rain for about the southern half of the state. However, look at the European. It's got nothing. And we believe that is the right solution. So for now, our weekend forecast will be dry. Highs in the mid to upper 70s. And I think we'll be in the upper 50s by Sunday morning. It will feel just like fall. Go to next week. This is Monday. Beautiful. Lows in the 50s. Highs in the 70s. Sunny. Same thing Tuesday. And a week from today, Wednesday the 23rd, a zonal flow. And again, a very dry air mass. We'll go out 10 days. This is Friday the 25th. Height's coming up a little bit, but again, that's a dry air mass. So really, after this event today, it looks pretty dry for a while here. This is the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean with Sally is a little over one inch. Some of the members up to two and a half inches, and some of the members showing nothing. It's going to be very interesting to see where the northern fringe of that rain mass winds up today. But look at these numbers. 90s are gone. And uh, the, the warmest numbers on that board, 83 on the 26th of September. Most days highs in the 70s and lows in the 50s, showing 54 for Birmingham early Tuesday morning of next week. We have to wonder if some of the colder pockets might visit the upper 40s for the first time this season. In the CPC outlook, this is for September 3rd through the 29th, showing temperatures here maybe a little below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.